welcome to day two of vlogger day my annual leave um i hope this situation is okay with the light behind i just can't be bothered to get the big lights out not when you're doing it every day so uh yesterday if you caught my first vlog i was in the process of making lots of makeup bags to see if i could turn some of my stash into cash so basically make stuff to sell <clears throat> to clear some of the fabric I've got. I need to make room for more. Excuse the noise of the traffic too. We live right on a really busy road, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so today's plan, typically I've woken up with like a hundred different things I wanna do and only so many hours in the day. So I um, really wanna finish the bags I started yesterday. I really want to, um, I'm hoping to be able to go into town and get some more vacuum storage bags from our local Poundland because I bought the wrong size last time and they're way too big for my fabric cupboard so and also I ripped one when I was taking the fabric out and so no longer vacuums. So yeah I need some more of those. I really want to go to the charity shop and check out some old duvet covers like kids ones because my husband and son really want matching pajamas don't ask me why i think it's a bit naff but you know uh he's happy to go with it so and obviously a five-year-old daddy's wearing the same pajamas i can see the attraction so um yeah but there, there really is no um financial benefit in making your own pajamas out of fabric that you've bought unless you can find really um, inexpensive fabric because men's pajama bottoms they take a lot of fabric so I'm thinking maybe some really cute sort of retro um, kids duvet covers or something like that might be a good source for fabric for that um, what was the other thing I've got a sewing magazine to have a look at today that came yesterday which I haven't opened yet so I'm always quite excited to see what pattern I'll get in there so I'll do that with you yeah um, first though adulting uh, dishwasher, washing machine, all those boring tasks that have to be done when you're a mum but otherwise the house will descend into chaos so I'm going to go and get started on that and I'll keep you up to date with what the rest of the day holds. See you later! nerve-wracking part of the whole procedure because now you've got this perfect perfect bag you have to poke a hole in it so I'm using um, prim uh, I can't remember what they're called actually I think they're just called vario pliers actually um, and some snaps and what I've done is stuff the bag full of um, like kids stuffing got the flap in the right position poked a pin through so that I can mark the top and the underneath with a fabric pen. I use Prim as well. I quite like Prim products. This is a trick marker. Just comes off with water, I think. And um, yeah, now I'm going to poke a hole in this bag. Wish me luck. I did it! How cute does that look? So I'm a bit limited on the snap front. I have got uh, in my bag here which is not very organised as you can see, gold, red, um, blue and black. That's all the colours I've got. So I've tried to pick colours for the bags that will match the colours I've got and I think that looks absolutely lovely. So yeah, pleased with that one. On to the next.
all those bags. I knew I would get sick of making them by the end. So five are done. I think I'm going to make one more and I don't know what you guys think about this but I was wondering whether or not you guys would like a tutorial on how to make that bag and then what I might do is give away the bag that I make during the tutorial as um, a prize for my 3,000 subscribers. What do you think? Could be an idea, huh? Oh, that's the cat. She's just popped upstairs. So I'm just having a quick sit down with a cup of tea and I'm going to have a quick look through my sewing magazine. Um, I think what I might do is have a nice bath later on and read it properly, but I want to open it up and see what the patterns are this month. And then I'm going to pop into town and get my vacuum bags, like I said earlier on. So I think I've finished most of my sewing for today, although lots of you guys have been asking about how I got the um, words onto the bag. So I will show you a little bit of the Brother Scan and Cut that I use, which is my mum's actually, and I've taken it hostage for a bit. And um, yeah, you can't have it back yet, mum, sorry. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look and see what's in this um, magazine. It comes in an envelope now, a padded envelope, because I think people were stealing the patterns in the post. So every month I forget this and get excited and think I've ordered something and forgotten about it. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this one-handed whilst I'm holding the camera. But let's have a look and see if I can. Just one second. Right, there it is. Oh, look, there's Lisa right on the front. Ah, this looks like an interesting copy. So, sew over it book, sewing bee, wrap dress styles. Oh, I like a wrap dress. There's Esme on the top right hand corner as well. Um, I wonder what the patterns are this month. I always look forward to getting my sewing magazine and then having a nice bath and just reading through it and getting inspiration and ideas although I have to say because I've had a subscription for quite a long time now sometimes you do get a few repeats on what the pattern that dress is nice yeah sometimes you get um, some repeats on the types of patterns that you get sent which is a bit annoying but I've not seen this one before let's have a look oh no I like this one that is lovely this could be good for work too. Not sure I'm keen on the collar option. This one is definitely my favourite. This is sort of almost looks like a shirt dress. Yes. Oh, I don't know. I like it's nice with the um, three quarter length sleeves as well. Oh, I like this one. Very nice. McCall's M six nine five nine. Hmm, pleased with that. So it's always a bit potluck with magazines. Sometimes it comes and it's not something you typically make and other times it's something you really like. So there's another one here. Let's have a look at this. Okay, a jacket. I've never made a jacket before. I really hope the traffic's not annoying for you guys in the background. Um, but I've come upstairs because it's the best light. <coughs> mm -mm -mm. Hmm. So um, I'll have a quick flip through with you guys and then, like I say, I'm probably going to have a nice bath later on and read it properly. Oh, we forgot to look at Lisa's book. Where did that go? It's over here. What does this say? Essential Pattern Guide. Oh, OK. So this is all sew over it patterns. That might be worth a flick through later on. I am a bit of a uh, sew over it um, nerd though, so I do know most of their patterns, but yeah, I might have a flick through that later on. So let's just have a little look at the magazine.
sun is fading fast. I thought I'd quickly sneak in there before the end of the day just to show you what I finished doing. Um, so, uh, back with the traffic noise, I'm afraid. Uh, and the kids are downstairs and they don't know I'm doing this. They might burst in at any minute. So, adds to the excitement, huh? So, I finished my pouches. I'm so pleased with these. Um, this one with the flamingos on, if you can see, I'll just open it up. It's lined. I was really careful with my pattern placement so I would get the flamingos in there looking beautiful with their heads up. This one is actually already sold, providing it for a toothbrush. So um, yeah, one of my friends, Emma, really liked this one. So that's going off to her. Then I've got this one with the red and the denim. And this one is lined like this. So yeah, it's a lovely, I like the denim on this one actually, it's a really nice colour. Then this one with the pink writing and the brown polka dots and it's lined with the green and I used a gold snap on this one. And then this, I think this is my favourite, if I had to choose one to keep for myself this would be my favourite. It's got peacocks and denim and this hot pink and a bright red snap and um, I'll just show you the inside of this one so this one is polka dots on the inside so yeah I think this one is definitely my favorite it's going to be a sad thing to sell that but you know the whole purpose of this exercise was to get some cash from my stash so this is what I'm doing I'm selling it and the last one has got giraffes on so it's really cute you can see I put my little um, pretty kitty tags in the side and this one is also self-lined with the giraffes so yeah looking forward to selling this I actually heard today that um, my children's spring fair on Saturday have got a spare table going so I have um, taken one of the tables so I'm going to be there'll be smoke coming off my sewing machine the next couple of days trying to get enough stock together to actually have something to sell um, what else do I do oh I popped to see my mum and I happened to mention to my mum that I wanted to make matching pyjama bottoms for my husband and my son and she said oh I've got some Star Wars fabric over there in a box and I was like oh brilliant so I got it out and boy she got some Star Wars fabric check this out make sure I get it up the right way look at that And there is literally like two, maybe two and a half metres here. So absolutely perfect. I'll just stand back so you can see. I hope the light's not too terrible. But um, yeah. So I didn't need to go to the charity shop because my good old mum had she, no, not less of the old. Uh, she won't thank me for that. My brilliant mum had something in her stash which she said I could have so that is awesome what else did I do oh um H&M <clears throat> happened to walk past their window display they have got the most beautiful selection of boys clothes in for spring summer and um, normally I don't buy many clothes because I usually make them but this t-shirt caught my eye so it's got tigers on it and I hadn't seen any tigers yet. It's designed by um, Natalie, Natalie Reet. I don't know how you say that. Anyway, it was $7.99 and I just thought <clears throat> that will suit him really well. So um, I'll just buy that one. And then what else I get? Um, a bit of nail varnish actually. So... I really liked this colour is called Hot Metal Love and it's by Rita Ora for Rimmel. So um, it's kind of, you can't really see very well there because of the light, but it's kind of like a metallic, mauvey, purpley, lilac y colour, which I thought was really pretty. So I promised you guys I would show you the Brother Scanning Cut, but I think because the light's getting so bad, I will probably do that tomorrow now. Um, and it's so and beyond tonight, so I've got to watch that. So yeah, I will say goodbye for today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my video, please click that thumbs up. 
and press the subscribe button wherever it is down there and um, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!